हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टाइटल सीट जर्मिनेशन एंड विगर बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन मैस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जे पी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर इन नाइनटीन सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रजेंटेशन फर्स्ट वील स्टडी अबाउट सीट जर्मिनेशन व्हाट इज जर्मिनेशन इट इज एबिलिटी of a seed when planted under normal sowing conditions to give rise to a normal seedling and developing into new plants the process of seed germination starts with the emission of water meant absorption of water by the seed coat and emergence of growing root tip of embryo the process ends with the development of embryo into a seedling the germination will took place in optimum conditions of moisture temperature and light germination is the process by which a plant grows from a seed germination is emergence of normal seedlings from the seeds under ideal conditions of light temperature moisture oxygen and nutrients germination is emergence of radical and plumule through seed coat here we have shown the picture where we can observe after germination there will be emergence of radical hypocotyl roots development cotyledon and rupture of seed coat and after that true leaves so these are the germination process ideal conditions for germination refers to the ambient conditions which favor the germination like optimum moisture optimum temperature sunlight as sunlight is concerned red light promotes germination and blue lights inhibit germination after that proper aeration and if nutrient rich soil is there it will increase the germination and speed up and after that good quality seed it is one of the factor when seed is of good quality having good vigor and uh, optimum moisture condition in seed and uh, well dried and harvested at correct time and having the good physiological maturity will give the optimum germination status we are going for the treatment with certain chemicals which enhance the germination like ethanol treatment which is used for seed germination improvement then ethanol in which ethanol chemical to chlorophyll phosphoric acid is used and where the seeds are soaked with 25 to 30 ppm ethanol solution in 40% volume for 6 hours after drying the seeds we can use it for sowing where we can absorb the improved germination conditions there are two types of germination first one is epigel germination and second is hypogel germination in case of epigel germination in this type of germination the hypocotyl elongates rapidly and arch upwards pulling the cotyledon outside which moves above the soil so in figure we have shown like in case of cotton seeds the epigel germination is recorded and where the cotyledon is coming outside from the soil and after that in case of hypogel germination in this type of germination the epicotyl elongates and the cotyledon remains below the soil like in case of corn germination now to study the conditions which are required for germination it can be categorized in two types first one is external factors and second is internal factors as external factors are concerned it will cover soil water temperature oxygen or aeration and light or darkness and as internal factors are concerned it will cover seed vitality genotype of the seed seed maturation and seed dormancy often these conditions are depending on the individual seed variety and is closely linked to the ecological conditions of a plant natural habitat there are various factors which are affecting the germination about which we will study here first one is soil where soil type soil texture soil structure soil microorganisms greatly influence the seed germination if seed is of good texture having good water holding capacity good aeration and it is friable level 
then ultimately the germination will be up to the higher side second factor is environment generally the environmental conditions which are favoring growth of seedling also favors germination germination doesn't occur until the seed attains physiological maturity so the harvesting period is one of the important factor which is impacting seed germination third factor is water which covers soil moisture and seed moisture imbibence of water is the prerequisite process for germination imbibence refers to the absorption of water by the seed coat and its rupturing both living and dead seeds imbibe water and swell slower rate of germination is noticed in places where soil moisture is near or at wilting point the soils having good water holding capacity optimum moisture conditions will be having good germination fourth factor is temperature the optimum temperature is that which one gives the highest germination percentage in the shortest period of time and fifth factor is light the most effective wavelength for promoting seed germination is red which is having the wavelength of 660 nm and inhibiting seed germination of infrared having the wavelength of 730 nm respectively red light is increasing the germination and blue light is inhibiting the germination sixth factor is atmospheric gases most crop seeds germinate germinate well in the ambient composition of air having 20% oxygen 0.03% of carbon dioxide and 78.2% of nitrogen so atmospheric gases are also playing important role after that seventh factor is exogenous chemicals some chemicals induce or favor quick and rapid germination so these all factors having the good combinations of soil environment water temperature light atmospheric conditions and chemicals will impact the germination water is one of the important factor which covers seed moisture and soil moisture mature seeds have relatively little moisture to prevent decay if seed is having the optimum moisture conditions it will prolong the life of seed vigor will be excellent and there will be good germination conditions if moisture is at higher side then there will be decay in seeds and it will spoil the seed quality and life span of the seed storage to germinate seed must to take water it should absorb water of take of water by seeds is called imbibence imbibition leads to the swelling of the seed and breaking of the seed coat so after absorption of water germination takes place with combination of temperature and other factors temperature is another factor most seeds should go through a cold period before germination temperature helps to prevent seeds from sprouting as soon as they mature and most common annual vegetables have optimal germination temperature between 75 to 90 degree fahrenheit and in centigrade 24 to 32 degree centigrade temperatures so if there is well combination of moisture and temperature there will be good germination status oxygen presence or aeration is another factor oxygen in the presence of enough moisture causes respiration to start metabolism this creates energy for the germination process respiration rates for germinating seeds are very high therefore adequate oxygen is necessary the germination percent of most seeds will be retarded if the oxygen percent goes below 20% and seed beds that are over watered or poorly drained will cause the oxygen supply to become limited so the germination percent will diminish so there should be optimum irrigation conditions and we have to avoid flooding light is one of the important factor which is having the role in germination generally seeds require darkness to germinate 
but sometimes it requires light. On the basis of lights, there is one term photoblastic which refers the seed response to the light for germination. On the basis of photoblastic, the seeds are categorized in three types. First one is positive photoblastics. These are the crops which are having the good response to the exposure of the sunlight like lettuce, tobacco, mistletoe. These are the crop seeds which required exposure to sunlight. Second category is negative photoblastic. The crops which do not require exposure to sunlight like onion, lily, amaranthus, nigella, etc. And third category is non-photoblastic. Means these are the crop seeds which are having no link with exposure of sunlight. Means they will not behave positive or negative. They are just neutral. So these are the categories which are impacting the germination. Under light, phytochromes are other important substances which are having the impact on germination. Phytochrome is a plant pigment which are found in cytoplasm and that senses the presence of red light. Phytochrome absorbs light in two interconvertible forms. First one is PR. PR is metabolically inactive and absorbs red light having the wavelength of 660 nm. And second is PFR. PFR is metabolically active and gets transformed from PR. The PFR promotes germination and other phytochrome controlled processes in plant. PFR reverts back to PR after absorbing far rate rights having the wavelength of 730 nanometers. Now to study the stages of seed germination. First one is pre-germination states under which there are different events like first one is rehydration which is known as imbescence of water. Second is RNA and protein synthesis stimulation. Third is increased metabolism which increased respiration. Fourth is hydrolysis which are also known as digestion of food reserves by enzymes. And fifth is changes in cell ultrastructure. And sixth is induction of cell division and cell growth. Second stage is germination under which there will be rupture of seed coat and emergence of seedling. Usually radical comes out first. Third stage is post germination under which first stage is controlled growth of root and shoot axis. Second is controlled transport of materials from food stores to growing axis. And third, senescence means aging of food storage tissues. So these are the stages and events which are taking place in seed germination. If the factors for germination are concerned, these are divided in two types. Like first one is seed factor for germination and second is field factor for germination. Under seed factors, it represents the seed internal qualities like seed viability, seed vigor, seed age, free from dormancy and free from injury. So these are the internal seed quality which are related to seed germination and as field factors are concerned, it depends on good tilth conditions, optimum soil moisture, optimum soil temperature, aeration and free from obstacles. So if these combinations are if good then ultimately there will be high germination status. Germination testing is very very important for the certification of germination status of the seed lot. Germination is defined as the emergence and development from the seed embryo of those essential structures for the kind of seed sample submitted which indicates its ability to produce a normal plant under favorable conditions. The objective of the germination test is to determine the germination potential of a seed lot. The percent germination is the estimated viability of a seed lot tested under specified conditions and within a specified period of time. 
Each test must be consist of 400 seeds which are drawn from the working sample and then randomly divided into 4 replicates of 100 seeds or 8 replicates of 50 seeds. After germination, the seedlings are divided in 4 types like normal seedling, abnormal seedling, dormant seedling and dead seedling about which now we will study in detail. As evaluation of germinated seedlings are concerned, these are divided in different categories like first one is normal seedling that possess essential structures that is indicative of their ability to produce useful mature plants under favorable field conditions. Second is abnormal seedlings which exhibit some form of growth but have insufficient plant structures to maintain a healthy plant such as missing roots or shoots. So these seedlings will not result in a good crop stand. Third is fresh seed. Seeds that have failed to germinate but have imbibed, imbibed water, they appear firm, fresh and capable of germination but remain dormant for short time. Then dormant seeds. These are the viable seeds other than hard seeds that fail to germinate when given the prescribed or recommended germination conditions. Then hard seeds. These are the seeds that remains hard at the end of the prescribed test period because their seed coats are impermeable to water. Then dead seeds. Dead seeds cannot produce any part of seedling. So these are the different categories of seedlings which can be evaluated after germination. Now to study the characters of normal seedlings. The normal seedlings are having well developed root system with primary root except in certain species of gramine which normally produce seminal root or secondary root. Normal seedlings are having well developed shoot axis consisting of elongated hypocotyls in seedlings of epigeal germination as well as in hypogeal germination. And in normal seedlings there will be one cotyledon in monocotyledon crops and two cotyledons in dicotyledon crops. A well developed coleoptile in gramine containing a green leaf, a well developed plumule in dicotyledons, seedlings with following slight defects are also taken as normal seedlings. Normal seedlings are having primary root with limited damage but well developed secondary roots in leguminacy crops, gramine, cucurbitaceae and cucumis and malvaceae. Seedlings with limited damage or decay to essential structures but no damage to conducting tissues. And the normal seedlings which are decayed by a pathogen with a clear evidence that the parent seed is not the source of infection. So these are the some characteristics of normal seedlings. Now the types of abnormal seedlings. These can be classified as damaged seedlings, deformed seedlings and decayed seedlings. Damaged seedlings are with no cotyledons, with splits, cracks and lesions or essential structures and without primary root. And in case of deformed seedlings, these are weak or unbalanced development of essential structures such as a spirally twisted or a stunted plumule or hypocotyles or epicotyles and swollen suit, stunted roots, etc. Third is decayed seedlings. These seedlings are with any of the essential structures showing diseased or decayed symptoms as a result of primary infection from the seed which prevents the development of the seedling. So these are the various types of abnormal seedlings. Here to study the calculation of germination result. The germination can be defined as the 
नंबर ऑफ नॉर्मल जर्मिनेटेड सीडलिंग्स डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ सीड सोन इनटू हंड्रेड हेयर द इम्प्टी एंड इन्फेस्टेड सीड्स आर कीपिंग आउटसाइड सो इट विल नॉट बी इंक्लूडेड लाइक एग्जांपल इफ वी आर प्लांटिंग फिफ्टी रेडिश सीड्स एंड आउट ऑफ विच थर्टी फाइव सीड्स जर्मिनेटेड देन द जर्मिनेशन परसेंट विल बी थर्टी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड इज कल टू सेवेंटी परसेंट नाउ टू स्टडी अबाउट सीड विगर सीड विगर इज द एनर्जी और एस्टेमिना ऑफ द सीड इन प्रोड्यूसिंग इलाइट सीडलिंग्स इट इज द सम टोटल ऑफ ऑल सीड एट्रीब्यूट्स दैट इनेबल्स इट्स रिजनरेशन ऑफ अंडर एनी गिवन कंडीशन सीड विगर डिटरमाइंस द लेवल ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ सीड और सीड लॉट ड्यूरिंग जर्मिनेशन एंड सीडलिंग इमरजेंस एज पर आई एस टी ए इंटरनेशनल सीड टेस्टिंग एसोसिएशन सीड विगर इज द सम ऑफ दोज प्रॉपर्टीज विच डिटरमाइन द पोटेंशियल लेवल ऑफ एक्टिविटी एंड परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द सीड और सीड लॉट ड्यूरिंग जर्मिनेशन and rapid and uniform seedling emergence seed vigor leads to rapid and uniform emergence of healthy seedlings under both favorable and unfavorable conditions in the field seed viability is the state of being alive while vigor denotes the degree of their aliveness seed vigor refers all attributes for effective plant stand in field इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ सीड विगर टेस्टिंग विगर टेस्टिंग डज नॉट ओनली मेजर द परसेंटेज ऑफ वाइबल सीड इन ए सैम्पल इट आल्सो रिफ्लेक्ट्स द एबिलिटी ऑफ दोज सीड्स टू प्रोड्यूस नॉर्मल सीडलिंग्स अंडर लेस देन ऑप्टिम और एडवर्स ग्रोइंग कंडीशंस सिमिलर टू दोज वीच में अकर इन द फील्ड Seeds may be classified as viable in a germination test which provides optimum temperature moisture and light conditions to the growing seedlings however they may not be capable of continuing growth and completing their life cycle under a wide range of field conditions generally seed starts to lose vigor before they lose their ability to germinate therefore vigor testing is an important practice in seed production programs testing for vigor becomes more important for carry over seeds especially if seeds were stored under unknown conditions or under unfavorable storage conditions seed vigor testing is also used as indicator of the storage potential of a seed lot and in ranking various seed lots with different qualities now to study the biological basis of the seed vigor concept it has been established that the conditions of seed development maturations like physiological maturity and harvest maturity storage and aging influence seed vigor seeds developed under moisture stress nutrient deficiency extreme temperatures etc often result in light shriveled seeds or collectively called poor vigor seed pre harvest environment of high humidity and warm temperatures can also cause loss in seed viability and vigor seed mechanical damage whether induced by harvesting or conditioning equipment as well as improper storage conditions are among the factors that adversely affect seed vigor in addition genetic factors such as hard seededness resistance to diseases and seed chemical composition also influence the expression of seed vigor now to study the methods of measuring seed vigor this can be categorized in four types like first one physical test second is performance test third is stress test and fourth is biochemical test under physical test it depends on seed size physical soundness and x-ray testing under performance test 
there are various methods like first count ditch which refers to the first counting of germinated seedlings and normal seedlings which are healthy and expressions are quite well second is speed germination third is seedling growth rate and seedling dry weight and first count stage so these are the basis in performance test after this third is stress test under which there are various tests like cold test accelerated aging test electric conductivity test osmotic and moisture test and brick gravel test and fourth test under biochemical test there are tetrajoleum test respiration test and membrane integrity test so these are the various test and their basis are different under measuring seed vigor the general strategy of determining seed vigor is to measure some aspects of seed deterioration or weakness which is inversely proportional to seed vigor cold test accelerated aging test electric conductivity test seedling vigor classification and seedling growth rate are among the tests which are used to measure seed vigor in addition the tetrajoleum tz test can be used as a vigor test by classifying the pattern of stained seeds into high medium and low quality here to study about cold test the cold test stimulates early spring field conditions by germinating the seeds in wet soils which are having the water holding capacity more than 70% and incubating them at 5 to 10 degree centigrade or 41 to 51 degree fahrenheit for a specified period at the end of the cold period the test is transferred to a favorable temperature for germination the percentage of normal seedling is considered as an indication of seed vigor vigorous seeds germinate better under cold environments when the cold test should be used first select cultivars with the best ability to perform under cold wet soils for early spring planting second which provide basis for adjusting planting rates for individual seed lots and third evaluate the effect of adverse storage conditions mechanical damage drying injuries or other causes on seed germination in cold wet soils now accelerated aging test the principle of this test is to stress seeds with high temperatures of 40 to 45 degree centigrade or 130 to 139 degree fahrenheit and near 100% relative humidity for varying lengths of time depending on the kinds of seeds after which a germination test is made high vigor seeds are expected to tolerate high temperatures and humidity and retain their capability to produce normal seedlings in the germination test when can the accelerated aging test can be used first it can be used to determine the seed vigor of many crops and useful in predicting the potential stability of a seed lot now electric conductivity test this test measures the integrity of cell membranes which is correlated with seed vigor it is well established that this test is useful for garden beans and peas it has been also reported that the conductivity test results are significantly correlated with field emergence for corn and soya bean crops as seeds lose vigor nutrients exude from their membranes and so low quality seeds leak electrolytes such as amino acids organic acids while high quality seeds contain their nutrients within well structured membrane therefore seeds with higher conductivity measurements are indication of low quality seeds as vice versa seedling vigor classification test this vigor test is an expansion of the standard germination test sgt the normal seedlings obtained from the sgt results are further classified into 
स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड वीक कैटेगरीज दिस टेस्ट हैज बीन यूज फॉर कॉर्न गार्डन बीन्स सोयाबीन कॉटन पीनट्स एंड अदर क्रॉप्स एंड वाट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस टेस्ट सीडलिंग्स है फॉर सिग्निफिकेंट मोर्फोलॉजिकल साइट्स फॉर इवेल्युएटिंग वीगर लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज रूट सिस्टम सेकेंड इज हाइपोकोटाइल द इम्ब्रोनिक एक्सिस बिटवीन कोटेलिडन एंड रूट थर्ड इज कोटेलिडन्स विच आर द स्टोरेज टिश्यू ऑफ रिजर्व फूड फॉर सीडलिंग डेवलपमेंट एंड फोर्थ इज इपिकोटाइल विच इज द इम्ब्रोनिक एक्सिस अब ऑफ द कोटेलिडन्स अंडर वीकर क्लासिफिकेशन टेस्ट सीडलिंग्स आर क्लासिफाइड एज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इफ द अब फोर एरियाज आर वेल डेवलप्ड एंड फ्री फ्रॉम डिफेक्ट्स विच इज इंडिकेशन ऑफ सेटिस्फैक्ट्री परफॉर्मेंस ओवर ए वाइड रेंज ऑफ फील्ड कंडीशंस ऑन द अदर हैंड नॉर्मल सीडलिंग्स विथ सम डिफिशेंसीज सच एज मिसिंग पार्ट ऑफ द रूट वन कोटलिडन मिसिंग हाइपोकोटाइल विथ ब्रेक्स लेजेंस नेक्रोसिस ट्विस्टिंग और कर्लिंग आर क्लासिफाइड एज वीक सीडलिंग्स नाउ सीड वाइबिलिटी टेस्ट टोपोग्राफिकल टेट्राजोलियम टेस्ट और टी जेड टेस्ट इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर रेपिडली ऑप्टेनिंग एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ जर्मिनेशन पोटेंशियल एंड वाइबिलिटी ऑफ सैम्पल्स एंड इज इन एक्सटेंसिव यूज केमिकल यूज टू थ्री फाइव ट्राइफेनाइल टेट्राजोलियम क्लोराइड और ब्रोमाइड इज ए कलरलेस टू लाइट येलो वाटर सोल्यूबल डाई इन द माइट्रोकंड्रिया ऑफ लिविंग सेल्स इट इज रिड्यूस टू ए डीप रेट वाटर इन सोल्यूबल कंपाउंड्स विच आर नॉन एज फॉर्मेजॉन टू थ्री फाइव ट्राइफेनाइल टेट्राजोलियम क्लोराइड और ब्रोमाइड हेल्प्स टू डिस्टिंग बिटवीन वाइबल एंड इन्फ्रैक्टेड ब्रेन टिश्यूज आफ्टर स्ट्रोक फॉर दिस टेस्ट वी आर यूजिंग हंड्रेड सीट्स विच आर मॉइस्चराइज लॉन्गिट्यूडनली बाई सेक्शनल कट सीट सैम्पल्स विच आर ट्रीटेड विथ टेट्राजोलियम केमिकल्स दिस ट्रीटेड सीट्स आर केप्ड इन ए सुटेबल कंटेनर अंडर डार्क वार्म ऑप्टिम कंडीशन फॉर स्पेसिफाइड पीरियड आफ्टर दैट इट इज कन्वर्टिंग टू रेड इम्ब्रियो एंड हाउ द एवेल्यूशन इज डन ए नॉर्मल टेट्राजोलियम स्टेन अपेयर्स चेरी रेड टू द नेकेड आई अंडर मैग्निफिकेशन द एस्कुटेलम अपेयर्स टू हैव मेनी डार्क रेड स्पॉट्स अगेंस्ट ए लाइट रेड बैकग्राउंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच इट्स वाइबिलिटी इज टेस्टेड नाउ टू स्टडी द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ लेस विगरस सीड इफ वी आर यूजिंग द सीड सोर्स वेयर द सीड विगर इज नॉट अप टू द मार्क इट विल इम्पैक्ट द सीड परफॉर्मेंस इन डिफरेंट वे लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज जेनेटिक मेकअप इट विल बी नॉट इन ए डिजायर्ड वे एंड सेकेंड लेट रेपनिंग ऑफ क्रॉप विल बी देयर सीड मेच्योरिटी विल बी इफेक्टेड फिजोलॉजिकल मेच्योरिटी एंड हार्वेस्ट मेच्योरिटी इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द सीड विगर एंड गेटिंग द गुड जर्मिनेशन देर विल बी इल्ड लॉसेस क्रॉप क्वालिटी रिडक्शन सीड साइज विल बी इम्पैक्टेड देर विल बी मैकेनिकल डैमेज एंड सीड एज एंड डिटोरेशन विल बी देयर एंड मे बी अटैक ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड वेन द सीड विगर इज गेटिंग एफेक्टेड there are various stages which have been reported to impact the vigor like during ripening during pre and post harvesting where the threshing drying and grading works are taking place then during storage external and internal structure of seed and at the time of seed setting just after pollination so all these are the factors which are result in the impact of seed vigor so this presentation was all about seed germination and vigor hope this will be very very useful to all of you now my presentation in sir thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you